Welcome into the recap of the Cubs 5-2 loss on a beautiful Sunday afternoon at Wrigley Field. I'm David Kaplan. You know, folks, as you look toward next year, it's not as far away as maybe people would think. They have work to do. Jed Hoyer and his staff have a ton of work to do, but they've got nothing but money to spend. And when you have pitching, you have a chance. Well, guess what? Today, Justin Steele, his ninth straight start where he's been really, really good. Steele has an ERA of 1.47 his last nine starts. Since the All-Star break, this guy has been outstanding. He gave you six innings. As I said, punched out nine. You go to the seventh with a 2 nothing lead. Cubs got solo home runs from Suzuki and from Ian Happ. And all of a sudden, you got a 2 nothing lead. Your starting pitching looks really good. You go to the bullpen, which has pitched well. I'll give them that. But guess what? Mark Leiter Jr. lets McCutcheon reach base. And then dumb Milwaukee baseball. Just dumb. 3-1 count on Rowdy Telez, your best power bat, and you're going to let Andrew McCutcheon steal? If that was Craig Council doing that, dumb decision. If that was McCutcheon, you showed really poor baseball judgment there. It's a 3-1 pitch. That is a hitter's count for your best power bat trying to tie the game in the seventh inning. Instead, Jan Gomes with a magnificent throw. Chris Morrell, excellent catch and tag. Bam, you're out. And then Telez takes the next pitch and hits it halfway up the bleachers. Boom, you're out. Brandon Hughes, you're in. Guess what? Two home runs and three pitches because Keston Hira takes him deep. It's a 2-2 game. Then Rowan Wick is in in the eighth. He gives up a run. He had poor command. He had a man on first he allowed to reach. And next thing you know, bounces one in. Then he bounces another one in. Got a man at third. Sack fly. 3-2 Brewers. And then the Cubs tried to come back, but they weren't going to get anything done against that Brewers. Bullpen Taylor Rogers got his first save since he came over for San Diego in the trade for Josh Hader uh, on August the 1st. But again, Steele, Nico Horner, Seiya Suzuki, Please re-sign Wilson Contreras, Ian Happ. Go make a couple of astute signings. And Nick Madrigal's been really good since he came back and he's been healthy. You have a chance here. You have a chance to get this thing turned around and get it on solid ground. And your minor league system is moving up dramatically around Major League Baseball. And there's a ton of pitching depth in the system. You want it? You want it bad enough? Spend the money, Cubs. Cubs lose today again. 5-2 to two because their bullpen let them down. Offense wasn't great, but when you're going up against Brandon Woodruff, you're not expecting big offense. But a 2-0 lead in the seventh, you got to find a way to close that ball game out. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Five coming up with the Cardinals. Please beat up on the Redbirds because I can't stand that team. Take that.